What's up, guys, and welcome back to the Silver Screen Shenanigans podcast. My name is Devin, and today's question of the day is, if you had to be an Avenger uh, from the original Avengers movie, who would you be and why? Uh, for me, it's I think it's kind of obvious because I would, I would be Thor. Um, he's easily like the, my second favorite Avenger out of these movies up and for a while. Um, pretty cool. God of Thunder, Control Lightning. He's a god. He has a dope hammer, which I actually own. Um, but, yeah. I'm Riley. Um, I think Thor is a really good answer. And I I think that I would have to choose Hulk. Just, I mean, to have that like, that much strength, that much raw power would be insane. The fact that you can't really control it is a little scary. But he figures that out eventually. And just, like, in the comics, he has all these different, like, or he has all these different abilities. The more angry he gets, he turns from, like, just Hulk into, like, World Destroyer Hulk or Galaxy Destroyer Hulk. And it's just really, really cool. And I, I hope that we have another Hulk movie. Like, one where he actually uses different, something different, you know? Do you think they'll have another Hulk movie, even though he's injured right now? I mean, like the arms. He's got a, like he's got a withered arm basically he's now. Pretty beaten. Dude, There's she Hulk. Pump him she full Hulk's of, coming. If true, you're excited for that, true. I guess. <laughs> pump him full of gamma rays. I guarantee it heals. I mean, try it. Just try it for science. Yeah. Worst worst case scenario, it gets worse. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, my name's Jacob. Uh, I was talking before this. I think uh, I'm gonna like pick Hawkeye. We are talking about, like, the new show and stuff they have out right now, and I just watched it, but he's just a pretty average guy. He has nothing special going for him, just besides he's pretty B.A., right? <laughs> he's just an average Joe that just has a bow. He can do one thing really well. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It, like, I don't know. It just lost to me. He can still kick butt. He can still, like, hold his own in these fights with these gods and, like, people with powers, so I'm going to go with Hawkeye. That's a, I think that's a good answer. Uh, so we're talking about uh, Avengers members because where you watch the movie, uh, the Avengers, I think it was 2012, uh, if I'm not wrong. Um, um, but this movie opens up um, with, uh, we cut back to Loki in s- somewhere random in space because we remember we left him off like falling into the void of, s- of space when the Bifrost exploded. Um, and he's receiving this powerful staff by this guy, um, in, what, in what the, it called? It's him? called the other. The other, I don't know, some servant. Um, but he gives him a staff that's like has these all sorts of powerful abilities that we'll see later in the movie. And he's told to take this army, the Chitari, and go to Earth. And we're like, uh oh, <laughs> doesn't look good. It's, uh, it's a guy who is very good with deception, mm-hmm. getting power. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we cut to, you know, where else but Earth. And we see S.H.I.E.L.D. is just straight up, like, evacuating. And it's fun to watch these old movies because I said this a bunch while we were watching them. Like, I don't remember some of these scenes in these movies. Like, why are they evacuating? What are they doing? So it's, like, fun to see, like, um, I still get surprised watching these movies. Um, turns out, Test Rag might explode. <laughs> I, I really like this because they've been using power from the Tesseract mm. and... Now it is emitting power. Like they've been pulling it out, and now it's pushing the power out. They, they turn. They They're like, like. Well, turn the switch off. Turn it off. And he's like, Yeah, we did. It turns it back on. It is a power. <laughs> like all it is is just power. It's infinite power, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Like there's no way of draining it completely. I, I not that I know of. I think you can get weaker, but the power is never going to go away. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, mean, is, I think that's why people. Some people stone, are able to right? touch it. I mm. think because that is something that I am so yeah. confused <laughs> with because in this scene, let's, we're going to talk about it a little more. So yeah, Nick Fury scene, is so cool. Nick Fury is, he realizes that it's going, there's something is happening. Um, and then we get a cool like thing from Hawkeye. I can't think of his name. Ba- no, Barton. Bar- Barton. I was going to say Barnes. Clinton Barton. That's the He's just guy. chilling up in the rafters of the building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was up in his hawk nest, is what they called it. Yeah, doc- <laughs> we see Doctor Selvig again because you know he was. They recruited him to work on the Tesseract. Um, yeah, and Hawkeye's just chilling up in the ceiling. This is like this is where he hangs out, I guess. <laughs> I thought I told you to watch it. 
Because yeah. So he he says that it's almost as if somebody is knocking on the door because mm. it, it we have been it's an opening to the other side of the universe mm-hmm. and openings go both a doorway goes both ways. So that right then the Tesseract like almost explodes. Like mm-hmm. it creates this, this real small, right? It's, I think it's pretty small. It's a pretty big, like it's a small beam. I think it has like a thing also where it's focusing it. Like they had some device. Yeah. They have a small beam that gets focused onto a spot and then Loki appears. Mm-hmm. Immediately kills a bunch of people. A lot of like he kills everybody in the room <laughs> except for Selvig, Nick, and Barnes. Hawkeye. Hawkeye, who's Barnes? But or uh, Bucky? Bucky Barnes. Okay, yeah. whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, can we just talk about the design of this room? It's like almost like they designed it to like withstand a blast, like redir- like deflect to it, redirect it. Yeah. Mm. Did they expect it to explode at some point? Yes. It's <laughs> it's probably a good. Idea. And you know, it's unlimited power, so. You might want to at least try to, which it doesn't matter because it levels the entire building. <laughs> yeah, so that's why they're evacuating is because they don't know what this thing's going to do. So they're mm-hmm. trying to clear the entire campus is what they call mm-hmm. it. But it's like the training grounds for S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah. Um. So we see some straight off like, I mean, and that's another thing. I'll give props to this movie immediately. It doesn't waste our time. It, we get going immediately. Like, we know what – we're here to see these guys fight, and it shows us immediately. <laughs> um, but we see the abilities of the staff, like, straight up is it, it can mind control people. So yeah. he mind controls Dr. Selvig and Hawkeye. And <laughs> Loki doesn't know this, but, like, so – and then real quick, Fury, like – I think he picks up the Tesseract and he puts it in like this box thing he has and yeah. he's standing next to the portal. And he's just, what Hawkeye and Dr. Selvig under mind control tell him. He's he's just stalling talking to you. He's waiting for this place to level and bury us all. And I'm like, well, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> they knew too much, I, I suppose. <laughs> I, I have I want to punch a hole in that theory of yours. Like some people can touch it, but they can't, you know? That doesn't make any sense. He grabbed it with his hands and didn't evaporate. So here, here's my thing. One, I was going to think, like, after all the years of use, like, Hydra using it, and then they recovered it, and then, like, used it for energy for so how many years right now? Yeah. And, and it also just shot off a portal. Yeah. So here's here's my theory. And he had a glove on. He had a leather glove on. <laughs> it was only a glove. <laughs> but when, was it Red Skull touched it? It and- melted through Steel. The thing is, that is interesting, on right? On the airplane, it melted they through were steel. Constantly sucking out of energy for all the weapons and the bombs they're trying to make, right? right? And then powering that huge plane. Mm. So it would have been weakened a little bit too there. I think what it is is like the whole thing where it rejected him or he opened that portal and then that's why he burned, right? Or it's entirely possible it's just an inconsistency, which, a, which is fine. Um, Mark it. I, the, 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 Put it down. <laughs> Put it on the put it on the list. Did Red Skull have a glove on? I can't remember. Well, I think Red Skull was already like superhuman, you know. Yeah. So like well, he, he never touched pr- it though. I don't think he, he ever touched it. Yeah, at the end. Well, how, how did how did it, he shoot off into a, into space if he didn't uh, like grab it? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyways, so like, uh, Loki maybe escapes. That's why I'm sorry. Maybe that's why it melted through the steel. It just got used because it's just been like. It just evaporated. Rejected somebody, yeah. yeah. I don't Maybe know. Maybe that's so it was why hot or Nick Fury was shaking his hand because it just been used as hot, and he's like, ooh, yeah. whatever. <laughs> uh, Nick Fury, alien confirmed. <gasps> uh, At this ooh. point, he's going to die twice. <laughs> Dude, we already talked about this, right? Um, yeah. Well, not yet. I mean, oh. we'll get there. Um, <laughs> uh, so Loki, with Dr. Selvig and Hawkeye's help, escapes. Um, and Agent Hill, I think is her name. Um, yes. She, you know, she's, she's all, I can't, uh, I don't remember her name, but she plays Robin Trubosky in, uh, How I Met Your Mother. Um, she's pretty cool in these movies. Um. If you want to say that, I don't know how to say uh, it. Uh, Kobe Schmolders. Uh, Smolders, I think. Not Schmolders. Smolders. Um. So, and she, I mean, she takes an this initiative. She just hops in a car and chases after Loki. <laughs> Yeah, they, they have they have two of the like a scientist and a like a murderer. <laughs> well, yeah, they know who. He, yeah, he yeah. says I am Loki, um, and then I, he gets mad when he says like brother of Thor. And he's <laughs> like, 
Uh, but yeah, he's, he's a god. Yeah. He's, um, and also, yeah, Hawkeye, who is um, An assassin. Bas- yeah, basically. I mean, I think so, right? I don't well, know. Uh, Black Widow calls them like we yeah. have two assassins, or yeah. Iron Man says that later. Yeah. But, so I think it's I think he's an maybe assassin. he's messing with them, but I don't know. <laughs> um, but so they get away, and Nick Fury. Well, at first he gets shot, but he has a bulletproof vest on. Um, and then he gets blown out of a plane. Or, well, no, he's he's yeah he's, taken yeah, he's off a, in the helicopter. Yeah. And then he gets he lands on the ground, and he basically he just tells Shield that you know we're at war. Yeah. And My, then it cuts to the Avengers, and we get the score. And dude, the score is so good. My it plays thought is that when he got scratched by the I don't I can't think of what the animal was flurkin. called now. Flurkin. It gave him nine lives. Ooh. So this was two lives right here. One was. Him falling out of the airplane. Well, and I'm gonna, dying. I'm gonna need you to count down the rest of these movies. I have two, <laughs> and the wait, other was getting shot in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> so the cat wasn't a life taken, but is given, right? That's, that's what I'm wondering. Like maybe it, it, it saw potential in him, so it gave him the scratch that gave him. Do luck. we know the powers of this thing? They talked about how powerful it this thing was. It has a pocket, and... it has a pocket dimension in its stomach. Uh-huh. But in like any other powers, because it talked about not like, really. Yeah. Other than that, it's just a cat on the. Well, no, it can take the form of anything. It just yeah. chose a cat. I'm pretty sure. It chose the I most, the most non-lethal looking. I think it was something like that. I'm not sure. I think there are a lot of them are cats though. <laughs> um. <laughs> so then it cuts to uh, another adventure that we get introduced to Black Widow. She's in Russia, being interrogated. <laughs> 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 like these guys are. Not, I get, they're like slapping her and like inter- or like torturing her and whatnot. But they're also telling her their entire everything. Plan. And then so like she gets a call. Uh, well, they get a call, and then Coulson on the other end is like, "We got like missiles lined up everywhere." If you <laughs> he tells them the exact location <laughs> that they're at, it's like third floor. We will bomb the place before you get to the first level. <laughs> give the girl the phone. And so she's talking. She's like, "What are you doing? I'm at work." And she's like, "These idiots are about to give me everything." And then the <laughs> old Russian guy's like. I did not give her everything. <laughs> um, and yeah, she beats the crap out of three guys with a chair tied to her back. So it's like, she had she's like, pretty cool. It was really cool. She was beating them with like six legs. Yeah. And four of them weren't hers. <laughs> she had like a, like a spider. Spider, <laughs> I mean, spider woman eight. confirmed. Oh, eight. Li- mm. no, she had her other arms. They were just tied. <laughs> <laughs> um, so they send her. So Coulson's gonna go get Stark, and she tells Natasha to, or who's Black Widow, to go get Doctor Banner. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> and he's all the way in. He's not I don't in remember. Budapest. No, he's he's somewhere like over there. It was there's lots of stress. wherever he ended up in the last, <laughs> like the Incredible Hulk movie, where he ever he ended up at the end of that one. I can't remember where it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure he just ran off. I'm pretty sure this is a different place than in the last at the end of that movie. Yeah, because I mean, he says he's on the run from Shield. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. But so then Fury has a meeting with the Council. Well, hold on, we gotta talk about the. He so she says it's just me and you. I just want to have a conversation. It's just me and you, and then they start talking. Oh, and true, then true, he true. yells, and <laughs> she freaks out, pulls a gun on him immediately. Which, gun wouldn't do anything. No, obviously <laughs> not. And then he's like, just me and you, huh? And she pulls out her thing, and she goes, back down. <laughs> like, yeah, there's there's people all over the place. It was completely surrounded. Like, he, there was no way he was getting out of there. Well, Which, I mean, obviously he So was. this starts a thing in this movie that they kind of, like, forget about. But what I love about this is how... Bruce and Natasha, like, they're terrified that the Hulk comes out. Like, and that's, um, they'll see it again later, but I think that's that's such a cool detail that kind of is a little, it's, like, forgotten about, mainly because they get, like, they get used to the Hulk. Well, there was also a scene there that he can't have a kid. Right. He's like, imagine wanting something so bad, but you just can't have it. And he's, like, he's touching a... Um, uh, baby rocker. Yeah. And so, like, it's a subtle detail. Oh. Um, yeah, that he can't live a normal life. Um, it mean, yeah. See, this makes me really confused because the movies coming up are like have that aspect in them uh-huh. where he's still all of, he wants to have something to call his, but he can't. Right. And I'm like, dude. Oh, you man, talked I about just, this already. <laughs> like, oh, I get you. I just realized something. I don't want to say it. It's it's later movies. Later movies. Um. 
So then I think it goes to Fury with the council. Um, yes. And he's talking about... Um, I, I think he's just talking about the Avengers. Yeah. To the con- um, Like getting the go-ahead from this council of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, and then... Every time they showed up, I spaced out. Yeah, they're pretty boring. <laughs> That's this is the last time I think I remember seeing them. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think I have ever liked the council. There's like they, six of them, and I don't know who just anybody make is. Bad decisions. Yeah, mainly because right. the decision at the end. I'm really not a fan <laughs> of them. <laughs> um, they probably got fired from that one. <laughs> nope, they still there. So then, uh, Nick goes and talks to Steve, and Steve is in this boxing ring, and this this little scene makes me so sad. Isn't this the this is the end credit scene for uh, Captain America? I'm pretty sure. No. I believe so. It's I don't not. Know. No, because he just wakes up in that facility and then it comes running out. That's that's the end scene. Okay. I don't yeah. know. And they stop I, him see, in Times Square. I remember Square. seeing this already, like in the show, in the movies we've seen. I remember seeing this exact scene already, but then they add more to it, which was it, I interesting. Because um, I, I, the movies do do this, where they release like a film or like a trailer for it and whatnot, like a year before the movie's even going to come out, and so like you swear you've seen it before. And then they release a whole new one, like, when it gets closer to yeah, time. Yeah, you're right. Um, so, th- I mean, this little scene makes me so sad for Steve because he's all alone in this ring. You know, he's pu- – and what also – what you noticed was pretty funny. Like, he punches off – like, he r- destroys the punching bag. And he, he already has, like, six or seven lined up because <laughs> he knows he's going to do it. Um, and it, it shows just how frustrated he is because he is a fish Super out of water. Out of water. Yeah. Like- um, he's – this is – it's Earth, but like it's not his. Like he doesn't know anybody here. He, um, and also the Converse, the shoes that he wears. Yes. That's probably the only thing that he recognized. He has, <laughs> there were no brands on his entire body except for the Converse, mm-hmm. which k- kind of goes to show he knows nothing except for what he did. Yeah. When that, he was, when do you honest. know why he only knows Converse? Uh, there was a company in World War Two, but like during that time, I don't know. So yeah, they were around during that time, but they're the ones that made the boots. For the, the soldiers. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. That's, so that's cool. how he knows Converse. Huh. Um, and we, then we flip to Tony. Um, and he's just, you know, doing Tony things. He's cutting off the power underwater to his building. Wouldn't uh, they cut off power to, like, everywhere and around him, too? It's not, like, just to his building, you know? I think that's that's what he put, like, this, this the device. device onto it. So I think that's what it was. He was, says, I'm the only one in renewable energy. Right. No, he put he put this device on the... The cables to cut power only to his building, and he's using the arc, re- the renewable energy, the arc reactor is powering his building. Right. That's the renewable energy, yeah. I guess. Is that the little thing he put on there? That one thing's the, no. the reactor. No, no, it's probably in his that's, building that's somewhere. That's the device that cuts the power gotcha. to his building. Um, but I just think that's uh, funny as hell that Tony's just messing with like just <laughs> power that controls the city. <laughs> You think he can get in trouble for that? Probably, oh, but he doesn't care. And then he flies out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, nobody's going to stop him. Yeah. He's um, Tony Stark. Uh, and then, it, like, Tony and Pepper have this cute little moment where they talk about, um, uh, like, he says, like, 15% yours. Like, it's you did 15% of the work. And he's like, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna regret they're saying talking, that later. They're talking about it's their baby. Yeah, the, the Stark the, Tower the building. Yeah, and so um, it should be fifty fifty. Because eh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, you did like sixteen percent of the work. I did a lot of lifting. <laughs> like a lot of physical lifting. Um, and then they also he had a private elevator that the workers went in, and so he's like, "Yes, well, it's not even private anymore. I mean, there's people in it. There's like sweaty workers everywhere." <laughs> um, and then so like they get a call from Coulson, and he's like, uh. Sorry, this is uh, Tony's uh, remote automated voice meshing system. You cannot reach him, right? And then he just walks into the elevator. He's like, security breach. Where do you... <laughs> um, this is... That's he hacked something. Jarvis. Oh, maybe. Remember, he, like, he's glitching out there. And that's why he's able to... Yeah, Jarvis says my protocols have been overrun. Yeah. This is where I didn't understand. Because he was on FaceTime. Like, what we know now is FaceTime with... Uh, Coulson. Coulson. But Coulson was on the phone, like, and the phone was on his, the side of his head. So I didn't understand how he had a face view of Coulson saying all this stuff. Continuity right there. Like, him being there. My answer is it's a movie. It, I mean, obviously. <laughs> they messed up. But you always want a perfect movie. So. Well, good luck. <laughs> there is no such thing. Was as it perfect. actually FaceTime or just Tony looking at his screen talking to it? 
No, he, he, there, it, you could see both faces. Yeah, it was basically like a clear iPad. Yeah. Mm. Um, Tony Just Tech, I guess. Yeah. Um, but then Pepper, so like they talk about, like Tony says, I could, I don't have to do this. I could just be here with you. I'll, we'll do our own thing. And he was like, uh, I think, I can't remember what she says, but like um, it, she's basically telling you, know, you have to do this. And this is going to be a thing with Pepper and Tony throughout all these movies, especially in one of the bigger ones that I can't wait to talk about again. Um, and then, so, because Tony knows he has the knowledge and the willpower to do so, so he knows he has to act. Yeah. Um, and at this point, is this when Loki attacks, or is that a little later? So, I think we cut to why Loki needed Dr. Selvig. They're putting the pieces together for gotcha. another portal. Um, and he needs this super rare element. I can't remember what it was. Idiom yeah. or something? Something like that. I don't know how to say it, even if even it was if like I a. Name. I thought it was like some huge, like superconductor of like yeah. energy. It, um, it only came on like uh, meteorites. Meteorites, yeah. So, so good luck getting it's, those. <laughs> it's extremely rare. Um, but one guy had like an entire block of it. True. Um, and the Avengers like. Kinda, Iridium is to Iridium. stabilize the Tesseract. So, and the Avengers like kind of. Meet up, I guess. <laughs> it's like it's like a little um, clunky. Yeah. Um, everybody, everybody knows about everybody now. Yeah. And so they're meeting as this is all happening. The style of these movies is you slowly introduce the mm. team together bit by bit by yeah. bit. And, and so then this is what where it's happening. Um, because they're all on the uh, helipad, I think is what not it's called. Yet. Well, not yet. Not yet. This is where we go to that before ball. Before that, yeah. Before that is the ball. When uh, I thought when Cap meets Bruce. Yeah, we haven't met. We haven't met Bruce yet. Bruce is on the helipad. Yeah, that's when we first see him. This is before. And when Cap meets Bruce on the helipad with Natasha, and they're both up there, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah they, I'm pretty this sure is a submarine." After. They I'm take sure Loki after. first. Thor gets introduced. Because Loki's already on the the plane, right? Or he's already on the ship. Oh, I don't know. I yeah. thought it was they meet up, and then Nick tells Cap to go take care of Loki. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Anyway, Cap goes to Germany. Yeah. Because Loki's there. Um, Loki cuts a guy's eye out because uh, he needs a... Um, 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 Spartan. Oh, and Hawkeye kills a bunch of people. <laughs> Security. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, Barton's at the guy's house yes. at the vault that has the iridium. Iridium. And, the, and then it needed uh, his and eye. His eye. So Loki cuts Red his eye out scan. and kills a guy. Um, and I, Loki, Loki, Loki. <laughs> Dude, his smile when like people are running away in terror. I'm like, this is a this is a bad this guy. This is a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> um. So he goes outside and he tells everybody to kneel. And what you said was interesting. His holograms, I guess, um, are glitching. Yeah, and it's it's almost like it's not stable. Because yeah, mentally, he's unstable. <laughs> he's unstable. Um, so then an old man gets up, and what, what I said right before, like, Cap shows up, I'm like, well, this is in Germany, and he's telling him about, like, there's always men like you, and Loki goes, there are none like me, and he's like, yeah, there are. <laughs> um, you know, we're in Germany, so yeah. we know. <laughs> and then Cap shows up, and he's like, you know, the last time I saw a guy standing up before, like, a bunch of cowering people, we didn't get along very well. <laughs> um, and then, so, they has fight for a little bit. Yeah. Did he already know who Cap was? I can't remember. He called him the soldier, so I... I think so. So And then, Tony hacks the... Uh, well, okay, so I guess Hawk... Or, uh, Natasha. Natasha shows up with a plane that has a minigun. And she's like, I can't shoot them. They're, one, there are people down there, and two, you guys are like... Fighting, I yeah, can't get a clear nobody's, shot. Nobody's uh, standing still in a, a yeah. st- standing still for long enough. Yeah. Um. And then you hear "Shoot the Thrill" start to play, <laughs> and Tony hacked their uh, like uh, PA system, I guess, to just to play <laughs> that song. And he flies in, and he kind of wrecks Loki, which pretty pretty well was on purpose. Yeah. No. Yeah. Loki. Uh, kind of. You wanted to be taken. Yeah. Um, sucks, dude. True. So they're in, in the blade. yeah, absolutely. And then so they get on this uh, ship that Natasha has, 
and um, we see a, a, a lightning storm. Yeah, <laughs> who could that be? Uh, <laughs> so like, what? You afraid of a little lightning? He's like, and then looks. I'm not overly fond of what follows. <laughs> and yeah, your boy Thor, Thor lands on the plane. And that was the immediate question I had. I was like, wait a minute. Didn't the Bifrost get destroyed in the last movie? But there's they um answer it. they answer it, and so he he just opens up the door and he just like he well he I think uh just Tony, Tony, opened, Tony yeah. opens the door and Thor just fly out. smacks him with the hammer and he flies and he like gets knocked back and he grabs Loki. He's like, well, we lost Loki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they him and uh. And Cap has one of my Cap. favorite lines of all these movies. They jump out of the plane. He, and, yeah, uh, Thor flies out of there, and Tony flies out of there. And poor Steve has to put on a parachute because <laughs> he can't fly. And so he has one of my favorite lines where he, like, Tosh is like, you can't go down there. Those guys are, like, basically gods. Um, he's like, there's only one god, ma'am, and he doesn't look like that. <laughs> um, it's a pretty good scene. And then... Yeah, one of my personal favorite movement moments is where Tony and Thor have a little a little tussle. What I like, this is where they first kind of realize their little combos. Well, mm, yeah. yeah. Well, even, uh, oh, yeah, I guess it is Tony and Thor first, yeah. Yeah, they have a little bit of a fight. Oh, and the, Loki says, the Allfather must have used a lot of his magic to bring you here, so Odin sent Thor here, is that's yeah. how he got here. I'm sure yeah. Odin probably saw it. Yeah. I, I just want to be a little bit clear. We can uh, we cannot go into it if we don't want to. It'd be in Thor too. Dark but World? We have, we're not there yet. I know, but the whole, no, it'd be actually three. Ragnarok? Whatever the guy's, the guardian of like the Heimdall. Bifrost. Doesn't his sword have the ability to use the Bifrost anyways? Um, I think he can do it. Um, so when he, he calls just, on the magic, I don't know. It could have been him too. It, could, it could have been Odin or Heimdall. Either one of them could have did it. It's both. been confusing me a could, little bit. Could have been both. They could have put their hands together and done like the fusion dance. From and who the cares? Dragon Ball. Thor eventually can do it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, they has. So then, Iron Tony, Man shows in yeah. and they start having a little fight. And R D J is just so great in this movie. He just eats up the scenery, or he's like. Uh, um, where Thor's just like this big brooding, like have care how you speak, and then it's, it's like he is my brother. He's like, what do you think is going on? He's like, I don't know, a little Shakespeare in the park. <laughs> <laughs> Doth mother know <laughs> you have her laundry on? He's talking to a guy that can kill him. <laughs> um, so the uh, Tony gets like smacked around with me under a little bit. They get he shoots like he shoots Thor with the. Uh, Repulsors. Um, yeah. Well, we also see. Does he use the laser here, or is that a little later? Uh, I think it's later. The red laser. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's later. Okay. Um, and then so Thor calls on you know lightning and he shoots Tony with it, and he's powered <laughs> up to four hundred percent. It's like, well, how about that? <laughs> Just blast. Which, that makes me think that he knows now that he can power his suits mm -hmm. up even more than they were. Yeah, we'll see it in a much later movie. We'll see them, like, team up again, and it's yeah. pretty cool. Pretty cool callback. Um, and then Steve, ever the leader, he shows up, and he's just like, hey. He's, like, smacks them both with the shield, and he's like, hey, stop it. <laughs> he's like, do you want to fight too? He's like, put the hammer down. He's like, nope, don't say that. <laughs> he, that's what he loves to do. <laughs> Thor has been doing the jumping hammer slam yes. over and over again and on then Tony. We get to hear that pretty cool sound again. The first time the big gong where like Mjolnir connects with uh Agreed. Cap Shield. Yeah. And it sends everybody back. Except for it, little except for little Cap is like his little uh, his Well, I think little. it knocks him over. It knocks him over Pro yeah. and destroys the entire like a giant circle around them. Oh, it yeah. destroys trees. Yeah. Thor realizes at that very moment that well, I guess if he fought Cap. Cap wouldn't lose because he has that shield that can stop that. Like the it's only way he would sorry. The only way he would lose is lightning. I mean, that's true, let's true. be honest. <laughs> um, and so like the whole thing with vibranium, it just it's a reflector of energy. It yeah. bounces energy off. So it's the energy of Mjolnir smacking a like you know, and it just all that energy just whew. yeah. Um, so cool. I mean, mm -hmm. just a really cool fight scene. I I, I get what you're saying there. Now uh, I'm thinking about continuity back to the original one. 
Hey, because Cap or Stark originally said it's completely vibration absorbent. Yeah. So therefore, it'd be taking it in, right? I mean, it can probably take in a lot. I don't but think it's taking that's, that much. That's <laughs> why it's eventually maybe you could do bit. both. Because think with the character who wears a suit out of it later. Yeah. In Africa. Hmm. Ooh. So I don't know. I don't know. Um. It, it's all it's all fiction, crazy stuff. Who knows? Who, who cares about the rules? I mean, let's be honest. Physics don't matter no, in who comic cares? books. <laughs> it's a guy who can summon lightning. <laughs> His shield always comes back to him, by the way. I actually was he wondering that. Is that practice. a practice? The literal comic book explanation, when they ask him about it, he's like, practice. Yeah. It's all geometry. It's like <laughs> he figured out the exact bounce pattern that it has. Um, I do like that later on they, they, they give him a magnet, you know? Yes, that, the magnet's, <laughs> the magnet's pretty sweet. Explain a little bit of it. But, uh. um, let's see. I got lost here. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, well, we're at the... So they, they, so they get Loki fought. back. Yeah. So yeah. Still. And they kind of explain to Thor what is going on. Yes. And Army's coming. And he's... And really cool... It shows his growth from the last movie. He's like, I used to thrive for war. And he's like, and now I don't want it. And, well, now there's a war coming. <laughs> and then this is when we get introduced to all the, the rest of the Avengers introduced to each other. Yeah, mm-hmm. on, I think. On I'm the pretty landing sure that pad. this is how that works. Like the yes, timeline. they have their meeting in the circle. Yeah. And so, and then... Uh, Tony comes in talking to Coulson, and he's like, "I'll get you to, I'll get you a ride to Portland. You know, keep love alive." And I was like, "What? The, what are they talking about? <laughs> what, does what does he mean by that?" Um, and he's like, "You know, no worries, Point Break." And he taps Thor on the shoulder. Point Break is a reference to like a movie where like it's, uh, I think it, I could be wrong. If you guys want to look up the movie Point Break, I saw it. It's some like eighties, nineties like, movie. I think it's. It's Patrick Swayze, but he has like long hair. And he's like a surfer dude, and he he looks exactly like Chris Hemsworth in this movie. That's fun. Nineteen ninety one. That's pretty good. Actually, there's men. That there's is, I mean, that is something that he would say. Oh yeah, honestly, he he does have the luscious long hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is it Patrick Swayze? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh sh- and uh, there. Hey, good one. John Wick. And John Wick. Keanu. Keanu's in it. The Reeves. <laughs> we missed a little bit there right before that. It's like when they're meeting on the deck for the first time. Like, uh, this is where we see the oh, whole Oh, Cap and Bruce. Yeah. And oh, the thing I like about that is everybody sees Dr. Banner, and they're like, oh, monster, Hulk. Cap sees him, and he's like, I really, you know, I'm really respectful of, the, you know, respectful of you. I'm glad that you're here. So, like, ever the leader, he's like, he sees him as a human. Yeah. Like, no, he's, he, uh, he compliments him on his, like, research and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, yeah, but I've got that other side. He's like, well, I don't care about the I, other yeah. side as long as this side stays out yeah. or something like that. Yeah, and he's like, they want me in a pressurized can. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this is when everybody yes. is told to evacuate. I think. It, the okay. Decks. Just want to make sure it, it is called the helipad, isn't it? I think so. Yeah. I'm okay. pretty Sure. Um, but we don't know that yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like we know planes are landing on it, so that's technically a helipad. Ba- right. Okay. So what we think it is right now, it's basically a, a big ship. Ship. At this at this very moment, uh, it's a giant uh like ship aircraft in aircraft the water. carrier. Yeah. Yeah, it's an aircraft carrier in the water. And they and think it's going to about to be a sub because <laughs> they said get ready for like pressurization or something like that. And yeah. They're locking down all the helicopters. Yeah, so they're like they want to put the Hulk <laughs> inside of a submarine. Yeah. And then they're like, "Well, you can go on and look." And they walk over to the edge. They're like, "Well, be careful over there." And then it starts to raise, and all the water gets moved out of the way of the giant propellers, and you realize. This is an airplane. They're going up. <laughs> They're going <laughs> upward. And he goes, this is much worse. <laughs> yeah. Hulk said, this is way worse. Um, so, yeah, they have they has meetings, and they, uh, they're talking about, I think, uh, uh, Furrier has a line about how he turned a couple of my best soldiers into his personal flying monkeys. And then Thor's like, he's like, monkeys. What is a monkey? And he's like, and then Cap's like, I understood that reference. I get that one. Because <laughs> he, he watched The Wizard of Oz <laughs> when it first came out. Um, but that's the only reference he'll get yeah. out of it. <laughs> yep. Is The Wizard of Oz that old? He just used to go to the zoo. Yeah, I it's mean, like, I think it's like, thir- it's 1930-something. What, Dude, first day I get out, thir- what, how many years is it in the future? This movie? Yeah. I well, think it's... Well, if if your cap, how many years in the future do, is it now? 
Uh, well, he woke up. So 1945, 70 years later. So 70 years? Yeah. Go to the store. Go go to the store. See the different things. Yeah. Go to the zoo. Well, he, he does. When the, the next I mean, oh, I mean, I was thinking of Thor. Okay, you know. Yeah, what? no, yeah, yeah, yeah. My bad. No, I was trying to say that, that he had no reason not to know what yeah. a monkey was, but <laughs> Thor uh, doesn't well, know what a monkey is. He'll, he'll call Rocket a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the book originally came out in 1900. Ooh. Yeah, but the movie came out in 32. Yeah, so you would have seen it. And the war ended in 45. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, I'm sure. That was the other thing I was questioning about. Can you look up real quick when the nuke dropped? Because it was 1945, but I don't know exactly which month because. He might not know what a nuke is. Yeah, you might not know what a nuke is. Uh, like, August 6, 1945. Yeah, he definitely. And the war ended in se- September 2nd. Hmm. I don't know when he got buried in ice. Who knows? I don't. I don't know if they ever tell. Um, they probably do. But yeah. For um, or something. So RDJ and Chris Evans, great chemistry. These these are two guys that are very idealistic in their ways, and they're going to clash quite a bit. Yeah. Um. So they're like they're very different, and so like well, in the, for example, like they think that they might have an inkling of idea that S.H.I.E.L.D. is hiding something. So while Tony hacks, Steve just goes down to the basement. Well, as soon as Tony got onto the he helipad, was, yeah. he, he put a bug on it, yeah. and it started hacking the system immediately. Yeah, because he, he wants to know what these he guys are all about. He wants to know their darkest secrets. Well, he's been, so like, he left them. out for so long, right? Yeah. Like, from Iron Man 2, he goes, ah, we don't want you. He goes, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm accepted, but I'm on. I'm not. Yeah. Uh, the he, suit was accepted, but he wasn't. Mm. His ship went down in February 5th of 45. Okay. So what happened first? He would not have known what a nuke okay. was. Okay. So the nuke went off in uh, August. Which makes sense because that line he says a little bit later about, we won, but what did we lose? <laughs> yeah. Um, because I think he probably looked it up. Oh, yeah, for sure. Probably. He wanted to know how it ended. Um, so he does know what a nuke is. True. Um, he has to. So <laughs> then, and I don't I think... Tony's also a little tad bit insane because he shocks Banner like yeah <laughs> with the, like a cattle prod. <laughs> he like, stares him in the face. Like, shock him or stab him. He said, "If I was afraid like of sharp little, things, it's I a little cattle be here. prod." Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. And he's like, "So no reaction." And Cap's like, "Are you nuts?" <laughs> <laughs> he's like, "The jury's still out on that one." Um, and then Banner goes, "If I if I couldn't handle a couple sharp things, I wouldn't be yeah. on this ship." Um, so then Cap leaves because he's going to go do a little practical investigation. Um, he got tired of Tony. <laughs> like he got tired of waiting. Um, so then, and well, then Banner and what? That was after they're already looking into the scepter, right? No, when he uh, shocked him, like that was before, right? When they're still in the that bridge. That was that was much before. Yeah. Okay, so Cap uh, doesn't investigate yet. No, he does. When he finds out stuff, that's when they start having the scepter talk. Because Tony like shows him a picture of like guns. Yeah. The, what he has so far, and then Cap's like, "Wait a minute." Yeah. I mean, it probably doesn't show that he's investigating gotcha, until gotcha, later, gotcha. but like that's what he's going to do. Yeah. Um. So, but then Banner and Tony have this really cool talk where, um, he see he's like, uh, um, what Banner says that? like the he feels that the Hulk is a mistake, and Tony gives him like a little silver lining. He's like, "That gamma radiation should have killed you." He's like, oh, the other guy saved me? That's that's a nice sediment, I guess. He's like, for what? And then Tony's like, I guess we'll find out. And it's exciting to know it, what it he'll do up. later. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, also in that, he Tony explains to him his situation, too, where he has metal that is constantly trying yeah. to kill him. And he's learned to live with it. And he's actually used it as power. Mm. And Hulk, or Banner at this point, has that exact same issue. This guy wants to cause harm to everything, mm. but it's also keeping him alive. I'd say I, I, I get where Tony's coming from in the relation, yeah. but it's definitely different because Banner can't control it. <laughs> well, I'll flip this on its head, right? Like, we haven't got to that part yet, but it might be reverse roles, right? What if, uh, was it Banner, right? Yeah. What if Banner's the shrapnel and then the Hulk's? If the Hulk was the original? Yeah. Mm. Just think about it. Well, that I think right now they later. both think they're really original. <laughs> no, but think about the comment he makes later. I got you. Mm-hmm. So, like, 
the Hulk thinks that Manners like is poison. Yeah, because yeah. remember, mm. remember this: like when he is a Hulk, you can't mention Banner. Right. Yeah, Hulk thinks Banner. They're like they have two different personalities. Mm-hmm. Um. So then Natasha, this is another very cool scene. I think Natasha goes down and talks to Loki, and this shows how smart she is. Um, oh my goodness! She just she just gets him talking, and you know, Loki talking. What? No way. Um. He just he's just rambling on about his plan, about his destiny for power and yada yada yada. And then he he says a word to her that well, I looked up later and I'm like, that's not very nice. Um Well, in this whole thing, he is berating her. Oh yeah. Saying how awful she is in all of this. The red in her um in her ledger. ledger yeah. Because she was an assassin. She did kill people when she was a black widow. Yeah. But that's why she's a shield to do better. Um, and then she said, he said that something about a monster. I can't remember. No, who's the, who's Hawkeye? I can't think of his name. Barton. Barton. Too many B names. <laughs> Barton already told him everything about her. Yes. True. So he, he kind of knows who she is and what she does, but he doesn't know to the extent I, I suppose. And then he says something like a, about a beast. Um, I can't remember what the word he, what yeah. word he used. And so then she, turns she looks around, like she's crying. crying. Yeah. And then she looks up and she's like, Oh, that's your play. And the the whole, and I'm like, oh, she got him. <laughs> yeah, dude, insane. He looks so defeated <laughs> after this. He goes, what? <laughs> and that's what I love about that is in that situation, it doesn't matter that he's a god at all. So that's her play. She she gets them. Like where- So like her big three things is she's like, she's very intelligent. She is like. Um, seductive. She's seductive. I mean, that's Black Widow. That's part yeah. of Black Widow. Um. Da, 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 da. It was funny. It, like it's just like the ironic, like irony in it, right? She tricked the god of of mischief. Of mischief. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. <laughs> um, with no tricks or no nothing, yeah. she's just her intelligence just playing with emotions. Um, and then we cut to the uh, the, um, the room, the debate. They have the 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 confrontation. Yes. Um, where the uh, the staff is so very fun camera work here. Um, they're all having an argument about like just their different philosophies. They're different. Um, this is also when the Hydra stuff was brought yes. up. So, uh, I, Cap- Captain America goes down and looks in stuff while mm, Tony is also hacking. So he finds uh, Cap finds. Like, is it old Hydra helmets? stuff? Yeah, yeah, helmets and guns of Hydra, and he's like. Hold on a second. Yeah. <laughs> what is what are they doing with this? So he goes up and he starts confronting them. And in that moment, Tony also gets more stuff about Hydra. He sees like there's like missiles and stuff that they're working. And I love how Nick Fury goes. He's like, uh, we weren't exactly making weapon. And then Tony flips the, <laughs> it is like, there's a missile right here. <laughs> yeah, he's saying like, we're just doing it for research purposes to understand a test track more, right? So that's why we have Hydra stuff. Yeah. And Tony's now, like, wait a minute. This what? brings up a fun argument that we'll see later, like, um, in the movies about this quote unquote shield around the world. Um, and I don't, I think both people are right here. Cause like wanting, Fury makes it, it, Fury makes an excellent argument that they are laughably outgunned when it comes to the rest of the universe. Yeah. So, well, I mean, they were just proven uh, yeah. with, with Loki coming in and yeah. doing that as well as, uh, as well as Thor. Yes. Leveling of a city. Yes. <laughs> but, the, our heroes also have a point. Like it, it's not right to be doing this in the shadows. To like, they want to be. If they're going to be a part of this, they need to know what's going on. Yeah. Um, but yeah. as they're arguing, the camera like slowly pans around them. It, like it goes all the way around, and then it turns upside down with the scepter in the vision of all the heroes. Well, the scepter it, was in the middle of the screen. Yeah. Which, and then you can hear like kind of like almost like radio frequency. Mm-hmm. In the background. Um, which, you know what? I'll get to that in a second, what I think might be happening there. Um, but so the camera's flipped on its head because the whole situation is quite literally flipped on its head. Like our heroes are arguing. The and, ones who are supposed to be fighting yeah. together are um, about to tear each other apart. I wonder if that frequency was like Loki, like locating where it is. Oh, that's possible. Because they just kind of show up out of nowhere, and Barton just you know starts blowing stuff up. So I don't know. I don't know. It's maybe, yeah. but I don't know. Well, so uh, what what happened was uh, as soon as this is uh, happening, 
the ping goes off to tell them that they found a tesseract. Yes. And uh, Banner goes, oh my... And then an explosion happens in one of the uh, propellers. It's keeping this whole thing in the air. There's four of explodes. them. Explodes. Yeah. <laughs> I got a little insider in that whole scene, by the way. What was that? Which, what part? Uh, with, like, the whole going around the room and, like, flipping it on its head kind of thing. Uh-huh. So you're, like, I saw a behind-the-scenes director cut of this a while back. So you're right about the whole thing. It's Loki flipping the whole thing on its head, mm. right? But apparently the whole scene, it was a one one shot. Oh, yeah. It was never edited. Oh. It was all camera work and, like, choreography to move around the camera and whatnot. I love one shots. And he, the director was saying, I've been dreading this day (laughs) forever. Because, like, there's, like, the whole thing with, like, scenes, uh, figuring out who's saying what at what times, who's going to be on camera at what times, where the camera's going to be, where people are going to be in Mm. respect Mm -hmm. to that camera. Yeah. And then the whole flipping it and, like, maneuvering it around everybody. So they literally flipped a camera on over. Hmm. 100%. 100%. Well, I mean, I'm sure they have the equipment to yeah. like, do oh, yeah, like yeah, a 360. Yeah. 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 That'd yeah. Be a really funny. Uh, like I just, really I just, cool it's cool because it's, 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 it's just a super practical way to do it. Yeah. Just flip a camera over. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> yeah. All August. one go, no editing. So, like, that's, that's insane. That's that pretty sweet. So cool. Um, God knows how yeah, many takes to, they had to, to do for that. Track on the scene, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Imagine. To have it move around and then. It went like around them and then go through the middle of them. It couldn't be on, it couldn't be on a track like. It couldn't be on a ground track. No, I'm thinking it, like it had to be like in the corner, like all the different arms. Mm-hmm. I don't know because you could see the ceiling and the floor oh, in man. the shot. And then the last couple lines that of this argument are between uh, pretty significant are between Tony and Steve. And uh, I mean, this opens up some wounds. Yeah, it does. I can't. Who said? Who's? What did they say? I can't, now I'm blanking. Uh, Stark says to to. Uh, Cap that the only thing that makes him special is, is out of a bottle. Is out of a bottle, and that's kind of like a little bit of a closer. But like, and then Cap says, uh, "You're never, never gonna make the sacrifice play. There's always a way out." Yeah, and it's it's. I mean, it's so good. What happens later? Yeah. Uh, all, all these callbacks it are amazing. Insane. Um, I didn't realize that one word had an effect on him. Yeah. yeah. Yikes. I because I think well even at this point. The only thing special about Cap is that he had the the serum, mm-hmm. and Tony at this point would never make the sacrifice play. Right? No, never. He would always want to try to get out of it alive somehow, mm-hmm. and it's they just, just they end up really, proving really each really other cool. wrong. Yeah, um, and so many different ways. Um, so yeah, Hawkeye blows up the engine, um, and then uh, Hulk and Natasha fall through a hole into the basement, and Hulk gets like hit and hurt pretty good and we're like rut row <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was freaking out <laughs> and her i uh, scarlett johansson her reaction in this she is absolutely terrified she i think she is terrified of the hulk yeah and anything that he could do oh yeah i mean they're on a helipad there's nowhere to go like they're trapped yeah. and he could just destroy this place yeah um and she's running away limping and he's just smashing through stuff he's Dude, a- <laughs> she runs through this this glass corridor and i'm like oh yeah that's a really cool idea that because he can't just break through it uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah he can. smashes it completely um and then we get the beginning of like their uh like they're kind of brothers that hate each other but will do anything for each other between and thor and thor. the hulk where she, uh, the hulk is about to like get her um until like you know thor comes in and like there he he's like you know think banner think and that just makes him more angry yeah because oh, he doesn't like the word banner yeah um Ooh. and then thor throws mjolnir at the hulk and the hulk tries to catch it <laughs> <laughs> it pulls him backwards and he's like sinking into the ship like trying to lift yeah, it so at this point he is so mad that he couldn't pick it up <laughs> and so like you know they're they're just smacking each other around the ship and which is not ideal for everybody on the ship right um and Steve and Tony go to repair the ship. Yeah, like the whole fight we just like put on the suit or go a couple rounds. After yes. explosion he goes, put on the suit, put on the suit. <laughs> yeah. No, the entire team is basically just like family that bicker with each other. They're um not this- unlike a char- the a group that's gonna come later. They're just they're a dysfunctional family yeah. that will do anything for each other. I think this was like a needed venting yes. of yes. of emotions. That way they could work as if as a 
co- uh, cooperative team. And then, so people are running into the control center, and Fury's like, they're not going to get in here like this. So what are they doing? It's a distraction because Hawkeye's up, and he shoots this hacking thing, which takes out another... Um, all of them. Is it all of them? Yeah. I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was all oh, of them. Okay. Um, so now the ship's just... Yeah. Because <laughs> all they're saying is, like, we can't lose another one, right? Yeah. And he shuts up every single oh, one of them. Well, I think, uh, I think at that point, it shut off all of the power throughout the entire ship, mm. which was why I was really confused at how Tony did anything after this. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because I thought I thought it just... Sh- I, I could be wrong, but I thought it just shut off the... Uh, the um the propellers the propellers but like the electricity was still there because all Tony had to do was start the propellers yeah again. huh well I I feel like the electricity stayed on but some of their systems were down because they they mentioned yeah. that later on the comms were down I know that yes. for sure mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why they couldn't call for backup like that was purposeful on that <laughs> Cap one. goes it runs on some sort of electricity well he's not wrong <laughs> <laughs> yeah he pulls out this whole thing. And he's like, all right, I need you to tell me what exactly what's going on. And he's like, well, it looks like it works. <laughs> um, um, so then it's falling. Like, everything's going to crap. Yeah. And Thor, well, okay, so they shoot it. A lot ha- a lot of happen. A lot happens here. A lot of jumping back. They get a ship to distract the Hulk. And they say, don't get close. What does they do? They get close. <laughs> he gets as close as humanly possible. So to shoot the Hulk, and it's it's a pretty brutal scene. Like he jumps out, just tears this thing apart, and then when he goes to eject, the Hulk just grabs that too and throws it away. Yeah. But it, it's fine because he has a parachute. And if, <laughs> if 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 Hulk wanted to, that guy's dead. Dead. <laughs> so Banner is falling to the ground. Um. Thor goes to get Loki. He gets trapped in the thing that, that was holding Loki, which I guess we forgot to mention. It, this whole thing was the flip Loki of a out. switch can drop him thirty thousand feet. Well, not even that. If you if you hit the the glass, that too, it drops you. It was meant for the Hulk. Meant for the Hulk, yeah. yeah. But they just put Loki in there because. <laughs> well, I mean, it would also hold him. Yeah. You know, so. So now Thor is falling to the ground, trapped in this thing. Um, yeah, I Loki's- feel like Thor would have been fine. He would. It would have hurt. No, that's that's what I'm saying with yeah. like Thor or the Hulk. It would have hurt, but like they would have been fine. Probably. I think it was just to get him away oh, yeah. from the ship. Yeah. Um, and then Coulson shows up with a gun, and he's like, "We got this. It's a prototype from the machine that you dropped. So it's literally the laser from the destroyer." <laughs> and he's like, I, "Even I don't know what it does." And okay. in this in this very moment, Loki spawns like he almost spawns yeah. behind him and stabs him through the heart. Yeah. Rip Coulson. Uh, At least for a while. Um, <laughs> well, no. At this point, forever. <laughs> uh, so, and then that's kind of the little then, clip we have He does for shoot you. it, though. No? He does uh, shoot it. Are we there? Well, I get, we're almost there. There's a little more. A little more. There's, he shoots it, and he goes, oh, so that's what it does. And then he lays there. Because he, he, he beams Loki with it. <laughs> yeah. And then no, it switches Loki, back to Stark. Loki's not a very confident villain, I don't think, because he's just getting rocked by everything. <laughs> I think he he just believes in himself too yeah. much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's it switches cautious. back to Cap and Stark. Yes, now now it does. Yeah. yeah cause it's, and they, he's in the propeller. Mm-hmm. They get that thing going again. Which is funny because he has to, like, push start, like, an old, like, automatic. Like, yeah. And it, the whole thing is Cap's job is to pull this lever <laughs> Just to slow him down enough for him to get out. It's to open up the vent underneath so that he'll fall through. And this whole time, Cap is just being shot at and fought. <laughs> he about fell off the thing, too. And it started to get up the speed. He barely pulls it enough time, and Stark is just bouncing around. It's like, like it's going, it's, when Tony starts to push it, it's going so fast that it's like, like yeah, he doesn't, he, like, um, he can't keep hands. up with it. And <laughs> it's, it's like, like uh oh. And then it's <laughs> just bang. Yeah, that's a pretty good, like, comedic scene. Um, and so then he gets it. Everything's good. Yeah. Tony's suit dies the minute he comes back to save Cap. Oh, yeah, true. It dies on the floor. Oh, yeah. And um, so then they hear over the intercom that uh, Coulson's gone. And that really hits a lot of people pretty hard. Yeah. And that brings us to the scene that we have today. So we'll play that for you. These were in Phil Coulson's jacket. 
Guess he never did get you to sign them. We're dead in the air up here. Our communications, location of the cube. Banner. Door. I got nothing for you. Lost my one good eye. Maybe I had that come. Yes. We were going to build an arsenal with the Tesseract. I never put all my chips on that number, though, because I was playing something even riskier. There was an idea. Stark knows this. Called the Avengers Initiative. The idea was to bring together a group of remarkable people. See if they could become something more. See if they could work together when we needed them to, to fight the battles that we never could. Phil Coulson died still believing in that idea. In Heroes. Such like a strong. I didn't even scene. notice that what you just said about how he's Col he just lost my good eye. Colson was his good eye. Oh, that hurts. Colson his good eye. Um, They've been together since the beginning. Yeah, True. Colson was his understudy or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so they get Hawkeye back. He snaps out of it because they fought fought with Natasha. Um, they uh, Loki said they figure out where Loki is setting up the portal because he wants it to be a big show. Tony's and Tony's like son of a gun. He doesn't say son of a gun, but <laughs> it's on Stark Tower, um, highest point probably in New York. Um, then they fly Tony there. Then flies there immediately, right? Yes. And while doing this, he's talking to Jarvis and he's like, "Prepare the next suit because his Mark the suit, Seven the suit he's wearing Woo! is like dying. It's trash. As he's, as he's oh going. yeah, it's got it's got a literal hole like right here. <laughs> um, yeah. So, so he gets there. He he talks with Loki. Um, which, this is when he explains what they have versus yeah. what he has. It's a really cool scene. I'm like, oh, yeah. yeah. No, and Tony, like, Loki thinks it's, it's a, a distraction. He's like, no, 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 threat. I'm threatening you. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes to the bar, not for a drink, probably because of a drink to calm his nerves, yeah. probably. But the real reason he goes there is to get these, like, uh, Two wristbands because uh, the Mark Seven is going to, like. It reads, um, it reads the bands and yeah. then puts the equipment on based on where those are. And... So, and then Loki goes up to him, tries to do a little ping thing with the scepter <laughs> to control him. And he, he just hear this ping. He ping. does it two or three times. And it's because he doesn't really have a heart. Yeah. You know? This usually works. He's, <laughs> well, you know, one out of five. And, <laughs> and I, then Loki throws him out the window. Yeah. Oh, he's like, Jarvis, get it ready. Open up the suit. Get the suit ready. I think what my, my opinion is because is it was on metal. It wasn't physically touching him. It was not yeah, actually yeah. a part of him. Mm -hmm. not, so if, I think if he hit him anywhere else, yeah. he would have turned. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, so the, they, the, the portal opens up, up right? and the army flies into New York he said. and thousands of people probably dead. Oh, dude, it's so bad. So much more. Oh yeah. It? Yeah. Because yeah. it's, because not some people, not that, even the Chitauri, the big, the big, uh, I can't think of what it's called. The giant worm thing. Yeah. It's like a ship and it a is, giant yeah. worm and it's, it, it deploys troops yeah. as it's flying and destroying buildings and then like even the avengers like the hulk accidentally killing people yeah um well in this scene uh stark is like is, is banner here uh, yeah because yeah uh cap goes we're all here he's like what about banner is banner here because we might need him and banner's nowhere to be seen yet yeah so they they work out as a team they you know as much as they can um thor goes up to fight loki um, and he's like, he's just pleading. It's, you know, it's a really sad scene cause he's pleading with his brother. Just like, for the love of God, stop. You can stop it. It's over. And he's like, no, I can't stop it. Who do you think will be the, be the ruler after this fight? Yeah. W what are they going to rule if it's all to rubble? Yeah. And then he's like, sorry, brother. And then nah, stabs Thor. And it's like, well, be dang it, Loki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, which is not the first time no. that Loki has stabbed him. <laughs> but then Loki jumps onto a, one of the. Air, one of the yes. air, air airships, the Shatari like uh, thing. Yeah. Um. 
So, but they have teamwork, which is great. I love all the abil- abilities. This is, you know, real quick, like a little side note, why the, I think, like the defenders didn't work, why this works. All the defenders, they have like kind of one thing. Yeah. Is they can hit really hard. And, but this, they have so many different abilities that they can tag team off each other. Like Tony yeah. and Hawkeye. Like, well, even, oh, I think uh, Tony and Cap. Tony yes. shot his laser at Cap Shield and yes. Cap like moved it across. It was great. So cool. <laughs> um Cap and Natasha where she he uh boosts her up to the um ship and she controls She rips it. her arm off in that Probably. situation because it's going so fast. Ooh, uh Cap and Thor? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. yes. And then, um Hawkeye tells um Tony like, you know, strafe this way, strafe this way. Because yeah. these guys can't They have um, Hawkeye be the, the eyes in the sky that yeah. is telling them all these patterns. He's a hawk. <laughs> he's the bird. Um and the pan. Uh oh okay. so first, yeah, your your boy banner rolls up yeah. on a scooter or like a <laughs> <laughs> everything everything around him is destroyed. Banner pulls up on this little moped. Um and Tony the, comes flying around. And Tony's morning. like, Well, you got be ready because I'm bringing this thing. <laughs> I'm bringing the party. Um and he's like, That's the thing, Cap. I'm always angry. Yeah, Cap said, You better start getting mad. And he's like, That's just it. That's my secret. I'm always mad. And uh, he just solos this thing with one punch. Oh, it was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> this destroys his mouth. And um, so then. I think that put fear into like, the child. Oh, I mean, I would. Because that's yeah. when everybody like turns to like, oh, crap. Yeah. And they scream, you know? Yeah. Dude, that's when we get the, the, the so, pan like, the... of all the Avengers. <gasps> and it's so cool. It's so cool. Natasha's loading her gun. Uh, the Hulk yells. Cap's got, you know, he's like the shield looking around. Thor's like spinning the hammer. It's, oh, it's so good. And then and then he says it. And then Cap says it. He goes, yes. Hulk smash. Yes. And Hulk jumps up, does like. And it, it could have been a super cringe line. It, and, oh. it, in, a, in the right, in the, in in the, the context, wrong context, yeah. it would have been so bad. But it, it works in this movie. Uh, that's another thing, like, this movie does better. Like, even, like, against, like, the, the Justice League and whatnot. Mm. Yeah. They just got beaten and pummeled, and they just now been given a reason to come together as a team. Yes. They, and they have a low point, which they can build upon, you know? And I feel like that's just what makes this movie. Yeah. Mm. Finally. They had, they're they fighting had, for something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, the count, uh, Fury there's, talks there's a to lot the of, There's a lot of fights. Like there is a lot it, of cool fights. The whole fights. scene is just fights. Um, Cap saves people. Thor saves people. Hulk saves people. Hawkeye jumping like off the building. Ones, oh. Yes. And, yeah, there's somebody watching, which is very cool. Yes. Um, it would be really cool. If we really watched it back, could we actually see that building? I, Let's I do tried, it. and I didn't see it. Let's do it. I, I want to try. in the exact scene that she saw, I didn't see a mm. building that had a hole in it. You don't think it looked down at all? Like, no, know? I didn't. Okay. Which, it, it, it's a retcon. You know, it's, I mean, it, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, uh, so... Shield Council talks to Nick Fury. Stupid Council. And then they're basically like, hey, get this under control or we're sending a payload. And I'm like, is that what I mean? I don't know what I think it means. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't wait very long. No. No, they're like, do it now or else. <laughs> and then what you mentioned too, this plane's flying off with a nuke and Nick Fury decides to shoot a bazooka at it. <laughs> yeah. I guess his thought process was the nuke would explode up in the sky and yes. not killing a bunch Boy. of people and sacrificing yeah. him and, and a them instead you're talking about his logic of the bazooka what about the pistol against yeah his, that was yeah. <laughs> okay what was that gonna do yeah he does do that he pulls out <laughs> he pulls out the pistol trying to shoot at the jet after the bazooka blew up the wrong um, jet. so there's a nuke headed for new york um civilians tony gets the call and then so yeah they call the person that could probably handle this and tony he's like how much he's getting the crap beat out of him with by all these like things like hey, how much time do i got three minutes Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then at this point, we start getting the images of the whole team starting to get pummeled. Yeah. Yes. This is they're, when it all turns. They're starting there's to a, lose. There's too many. Like, they got to close this portal because there's just too many of these things. Um, And then, you know, Tony puts, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to grab this nuke and I'm going to fly it into this portal. Ooh, meantime, Natasha. Yes. She, yes. she's up on the roof from the, uh, um, she hopped on the sh- the plane thing, yeah, and she's talking to Doctor Selvik because apparently all you need to snap out of the mind control is get a bonk on the head. It really hit the head hard, <laughs> which was an explosion from Tony trying to stop yes. it originally. Yes. So Selvik is now back to his normal self, 
and he's explaining that there's no way out of it, but there might be. The scepter. The scepter. As long as you have the scepter, you can shut it off. So Natasha's, she's ready to do it. Like, she's ready to close this thing. And so Tony's like, you know, hold up on a second. And so I, what's yeah. what's he's crazy like, is, um, like, I, did, I didn't notice it the first time I watched this. I thought it was later that they proved each other wrong. They proved each other wrong in this movie. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, I was thinking later. Like, Cap. He is. He he's he's working with Thor. Yeah, he's wor- he's more than just a soldier. He's a good man who saves everybody. The leader and yeah, the leader of the Avengers. And Tony, he was makes, ready. He was he ready to make the sacrifice. sacrifice play right here by just throwing this nuke into space and well, not he, coming back. He went with it. Yeah, he yeah. It, like he was oh. fully prepared not to come back. And there's no way they could have told that like when he was out or not, right? Or when the perfect yeah, time. Yeah, comms was. were yeah. off. His his uh, his it suit was gone. was gone. There's a giant flash of a nuke that you can't even see past it. Yeah, and no, it was it, very lucky timing. <laughs> just, literally the last second, Tony falls through the portal as it as it closes. Um, and they, they did it. Because once you blow up the, the, the mothership, mothership, all the Chitauri pass did. out. <laughs> they dropped. And they're like... Hey, uh, he's he's not slowing down. He's <laughs> <laughs> and then the like, so Thor's about ready to go get him, but then Hulk, Hulk out of nowhere <laughs> gr- jumps at him. He gives him a big old bear hug, and he just falls to the ground with Tony. Like, and so good. Um, he's unconscious. He's yeah. he's like, hey, yo, Tony, you good? <laughs> so then we get the he screams at him, and he's like, okay, yeah. okay did we win? <laughs> Please, nobody tell me nobody kissed me. <laughs> <laughs> we go to shawarmas. I heard there's a good shawarmas around. <laughs> Yeah, get some great lines. It's like so good. He's like, uh, maybe today, maybe tomorrow we maybe take tomorrow. the day off. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, guys, take the day off. It's He's fun. like, but they still got one problem. He's beating and bruised. He goes, "That's my." Oh, we totally forgot about where the Hulk grabbed Loki and just boom, oh. boom, boom, boom. Oh, that's a <laughs> puny god. <laughs> puny god. <laughs> he could have killed him right there. I'm just could have. So that's where Loki is. Like as they're blowing up to the mothership, Loki's just on the ground, like eh. <laughs> <laughs> can't move. <laughs> Physically unable to move. Um, and at this very last scene, he is beaten. Oh, yeah. And the entire Avengers show up in front of him and go. Hawkeye's got the thing pointed at him. They're, oh. like, they're like ready to rock him, dude. And, and like, this is not your world to take over. And so they take. So then it cuts to Nick Fury. He's like, you know what? He's talking to the council. He's like, um, you know what? I'm not tracking their whereabouts. I think they've earned that right. Yeah, they have the day off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And Thor took the Tesseract and Loki back to Asgard. Which and he, I think is a good choice. Yeah, if he's going to be in prison somewhere, might as well be Asgard. Yeah. Um, and he's like, Tony, they put like this mouth thing on him, which we'll get an explanation later of why they did that, but it's a great reason. I liked that uh, Hawkeye had sunglasses on so he yes. couldn't get, eye, like his eyes wouldn't be seen. Yes. Um, but I think that's the end of it, yeah? Yeah, everybody kind of goes their separate ways. Cap rides off on a bike. Yeah. And then... Uh, Avengers are here to stay. The big A on the tower. Yeah, that's uh, so cool. Um, and then it, it cuts out with uh, zooming out from Tony yeah. rebuilding the tower. Like, yeah, they go their separate ways, but they'll always be there to fight the battles that humanity never could. Um, that's it. Yeah, I think that's the end. And, and then, then we go to a, space. Yeah, the, the after credit. credit scene. And we see... Um, the other... <laughs> Which the other, he's like, humanity cannot be ruled, therefore they are unruly. I'm like, yeah, that's what that's, that's, that's what that means. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it and this and then this big old purple dude turns his head, and I'm like, hey, who's that? I guess we'll find out later. I'm um, glad they changed his look. Oh like, yeah, no, he looked bad. He's a purple <laughs> space monkey. Um, but yeah, that's the Avengers, and it's it's one of the best. Um, it starts off the the team. And it could have been super goofy. It could have flopped. It could have made so many mistakes. But it, every decision in this universe, for the most part, with the exception of a couple like continuity errors, errors works. Like the yeah. the chemistry, the ideologies between the characters, the um, the team up, the, the all the working together. It's it's great. I, I think you could have asked for a better like Avengers movie. I I completely agree. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's a great one to start off on. Yeah, like, this what would you what would you rate it? Uh I I probably go eight and a half, nine. Nine might be a stretch, but that, it's it's that's up there. Exactly what I was thinking. It's I up was there. Thinking eight and a half, nine, but nine would be 
That's that'd be the higher of the scale. I think nine movies later down the line are some nines, but this I mean this one's great. Um, yeah. yeah, more nostalgic for us too. We grew up on True. it, so eight, right? Also, I kind of want to point out like how bright this movie is, right? Yes, yeah, all the colorful. colors pop, and which kind of leads DC. me to thinking of English from high school. Remember this? You remember what colors? Vamp- what colors represent? Not or? that vampirism. Remember that vampirism. the vampire uh, character. The one that, that, so it's like not a physical vampire, right? And I kind of like, I just realized that Thanos is a vampire character. Think about how dark and dingy the movies and the colors get later on. Yeah. Like Age of Ultron is super like glazed over. It causes it to be darker because. Yeah. The, the impending things. doom. Yeah. Mm. Huh. I just I realized that because this, this movie's bright. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yes, and it is. So I don't know. I just want right. to point that out. Well, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, please let us know at our at our email, silverscreenpod at gmail.com. And uh, thank you for listening.